You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for ground ivy, Glaucoma heteracea. Ground ivy is frequently regarded as a weed and has spread throughout most of North America. It originally came from Europe. The perennial ground ivy grows with upright stems, or branches, and spreading stems. The upright branches are typically 6 to 8 inches tall, while the creeping stems, according to one field guide, can run up to 7 feet in length. Each leaf node along the lengthy stem has the potential for rooting. An area can quickly become covered in a mat of ground ivy. This characteristic explains another of the plant's common names, gill over the ground. Here is a mass of branches arising at a single node along the creeping stem. Ground ivy stems are roughly square shaped in cross section. They may be smooth or they may have a sparse number of hairs or even numerous hairs. Generally smooth on the upper surface, leaves exhibit a round shape with scalloped edges. Leaves in spring are deep green with clearly defined crenate margins and palmate veins. By late summer, the leaves may have turned a lighter shade of green. Observe the deep indentation where the leaf's blade attaches to its petiole. A view of ground ivy leaves from below. Here's the leaf blade and the petiole. Leaves grow in pairs from the stem. Notice all the hairs on the underside of the leaf blade, as well as along the leaf petiole. During the winter months, older leaves turn brown. Younger leaves remain green. Fresh flowers bloom even in late winter, before the spring flush of blooms. When new leaves grow at the tip of a stem, you can see how they develop in pairs with their hairy undersides. Ground ivy flower buds develop at leaf axils, typically in clusters of two to three buds. Emerging flower petals are hairy. The one half to three quarter inch purple flowers open. The overall flower shape is tubular, projecting from a fused tube of short hairy sepals with a flaring corolla consisting of an upper lip and a lower lip. The shorter upper lip is notched into two lobes, while the lower lip has three deeply cleft lobes. The lower lip's middle lobe is wide and almost looks like it has two lobes itself. Notice the darker spots on the petals. Here's a close-up view of that widest of the three lobes, which make up the lower lip with the deeper purple spots. As we shift our angle of view, we can see the inside of the ground ivy flower also has tiny white hairs on the lower lip and down into the throat. Projecting outwards just above the lip hairs is the pistil. It's out of focus in this image, however the pistil's shadow gives us a good indication of the shape. The pistil has a divided style. Here are a couple more views of the ground ivy flower's divided style. The flower petals die. And the sepals become more obvious as they enclose the developing seeds, which are referred to as nutlets. Ground ivy nutlets are only one millimeter in length and the plant most frequently replicates through its rooting stems, rather than through sprouting nutlets. A patch of ground ivy in full bloom can be impressive. It bruises easily and releases a strong, unmistakable, some people might say minty, odor when you walk on it. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Glaucoma heteracea, also known as ground ivy. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of ground ivy, for a blog post comparing ground ivy with two other spring-blooming plants, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.